Hey everyone, it's Miss Melody from the Ludington Library Junior Room. Welcome back to Try It Out with Miss Melody. Today we are going to be doing a spring art project. We're going to be doing some painting using some recycled materials. And what we are going to be painting is a branch of cherry blossoms. This weekend is actually the Cherry Blossom Festival in Philadelphia. It's running from the 8th through the 10th in Fairmount Park next to the Shifosu Japanese House and Garden. They're going to be having a bunch of free concerts, so if you're not sure what to do this weekend, that would be a fun thing to check out. In order to do our project today, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need some paper. I'm going to be using a very large piece of construction paper. If you don't have paper that large, you can use something smaller or tape a few pieces of paper together to make a nice big canvas. You're also going to need some paint. We're going to be using really two different colors. You want either brown or black for the branch of your tree. I'm going to be using black today. And then you need a pinkish or reddish color in order to make your cherry blossoms. I did not have any pink, so I decided to use some white and some red and mix them together. So now I have a pink paint. You are also going to need a paintbrush. You kind of want one that's a little bit fatter, a little bit bigger, not too fine tipped. You're going to need a paper or plastic plate to mix your paints up in. I would tip this for, but I think it might tip. I had a paint palette, so I decided to use that. You don't need one of those. You can just use a plate. And then to get to our recycled material, you're going to need an empty bottle that has kind of this pattern on the bottom because that's what's going to be used to make our blossoms. So it can be any kind of bottle, soda, lemonade, whatever you drink. And now we're going to get started. So we're going to first make the branch for our cherry blossom. So kind of one long kind of squiggly branch with a bunch of little smaller twigs sticking off of it. So I'm going to take my blank piece of paper here and I'm going to start painting. You can paint either direction. You can go across this way and make your branches up and down or you can do it up and down like this. And that's how I think I'm going to do mine. I think it'd be easier for me to paint this way than side to side. So I'm going to get a bunch of paint on my brush here. I'm going to start making a long branch in the middle. I might need kind of a lot of paint to do this. I'm going to keep brushing it forward. There we go. You can make your branch thick or you can make it thin, whatever you would like. But we want it to kind of branch off to the side in several different places. We have lots of spots to put cherry blossoms. So I'm going to have a fork here at the end of mine. Two branches coming off the end. And I'm going to fork this one too. There's two branches there. And at the ends of your branches, you kind of want to make the paint a little thinner. Because if you notice on a tree, when the branch is really close to the trunk of the tree, it's pretty thick. But as it gets further away, it starts to get thinner. So the end of your branch, you probably want to make a lot thinner than where it meets, where it meets the tree kind of at the bottom here. I'm just going to make a few branches, probably five or six that we can add some blossoms to. You want to get them kind of far. We kind of want to make them kind of long. So they're spread out away from your central branch, but you want to leave enough room for your blossoms. So you don't want it to go all the way to the edge of your paper. So here's what I have so far. I think I might add one more or maybe make one of these branch out a little bit more. So I have a few more places to put some blossoms on. And then I'm ready to let my paint dry. So that is one of the downsides of this project. Is if you are someone who wants to do all of it right away, it's a little hard to add the pink blossoms to um, your paper when your black paint is still wet because you have a chance that you're gonna smear it and that would not look so good. So you either want to paint when you have a little extra time where you can let this set aside and let it dry for a little bit or if you're working with little kids who might not be able to wait you might want to do the branch part in marker instead and then just do your painting of the blossoms with paint so i'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and then we are gonna add our blossoms 
All right, now my paint is all dry on my branch. My black paint is dry, I can touch it. If I go ahead and add other paint to it, it's not gonna smear. So it's ready for me to add my pink blossom. So I'm gonna put it sideways, I think, for this instead of up and down. Because when it's finished, I would like to hang it sideways, um, horizontally. So I kinda wanna see what it looks like as I'm painting it so I can add blossoms where I think they'll look good, hanging that direction. When you put out your pink or your red paint, you kind of want a fair amount. You want it to be pretty deep because what we're going to be using is the bottom of our bottle to make kind of a stamper to dip in and then stamp where we want our blossom. So you want it deep enough that it can go around and touch each of the parts that are sticking out at the bottom of the bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and dip mine in here. My paint's a little thin, which I think it might make it a little more difficult. We will see. Then I'm going to put it near the end. Oop. Of one of my branches and just set it down. And there is one set of blossoms. So now I'm ready to, oops, probably shouldn't have lifted it up because now it's running. I'm going to go ahead and add some more. I'm going to put some near the end of each of these branches. You can add as many or as few as you would like. Just how you prefer it. So I'm going to add and then I will show you what it looks like. All right, so now my painting is all finished. I'm not going to lift it up. I'll show a picture to you of what it looks like in a moment, but um, I'm not going to lift it up because my paint is still wet and it is going to run. For my painting today, I use just washable tempera paint. It's a little bit thinner, so when the paint's not dry and kind of travel all over the place, you can use whatever paint you would like. I would recommend something that's washable if you're, use it, if you're doing this with younger children so you don't have a huge mess. But I hope that you enjoyed making this painting using recycled materials. If you would like to show us what your painting looks like, you can go and add a comment below the video and let us know how yours turned out, if you used the same colors or if yours turned out a little bit differently. Another great way to continue to celebrate spring is by reading some spring books. And you can find some of those in our seasons section in the junior room. Here are a few of my favorites. This one I think I've shared before. I really like each of the books that Kevin Hankus did about the different seasons. And this one is his for spring. It's called When Spring Comes. Shows a lot of really great things that happen as the seasons change. Two other picture books that I really love about spring are Spring is Here. And this is by Will Hillenbrand. It's about a little mole trying to wake up his friend Bear now that spring has arrived and Hooray for Spring by P P Patricia Hubble. And this also shows a lot of really great animals and other things that you can see when spring arrives. So I hope you enjoyed this project today. We are having a story time on Friday. It's going to be Miss Ashley re leading our story time this week in the large meeting room downstairs. This is best for ages zero to five. Please make sure that you do register online. You can do that by going to our calendar on lmls.org. We hope to see you soon.